for me, like what God's done things in my life all since I was a kid. But what impressed me with God was that sorry, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, like I'm not sorry, I'm good. <laughs> But when Holy Spirit showed me that he liked me, when God showed me that he liked me, like, I, I didn't know God liked me that much. Like, that guy likes me. Like, he loves me. Like, he, like you see, there's, there's, you need to know that about God. Like, he likes you. He, he can't get enough of you. Like, there's, there's people that you go to them and you tell them, oh, he loves you. Oh, yeah, 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 I know, I know. Or people are Christian, not Christian. Yeah, you don't know. You really, really don't know. The whole fact that God loves you, you don't know that. Like, you don't really, really, know, like, there's people, I love, God loves you. Yeah, yeah, I know. No, you don't. You don't, under, you don't understand how much Because, see, the way that people awaken to God or they come to Christ or they get born again, the whole idea is twisted. It's twisted. It's not good. It's, it's no wonder why people don't know how to have a relationship with God because the way they come to Christ is twisted. It's messed up. Because, let me give you an American picture of how people come to Christ. They go to a church. Let's say they go through a church. The best way to come to Christ is through an encounter with God on your own. Hopefully, pray to God that, you know, that's the best way to have an encounter with God, either through your own or through somebody who knows God. Because if you do it through the church system, this is how they do it, normally. And I, I wanna, I'm going to generalize. I know that not every church is like that, but the, there's a lot of them. The vast majority are like that. You got to, they, they say, they preach the gospel. Come as you are. It don't matter. You got tattoos. It don't matter. You got ear. You got piercing. It don't matter. God loves you. You know you like to do it. It don't matter. You got. It doesn't matter what you have. Come as you are. God will deliver you. God will set you free. Come as you are. Jesus loves you. God loves you. Well, just come as you are. And people are like, damn, that's okay. dope. God loves me even with my tattoos. I just messed up last night. You know, God still loves me. Yeah, He still loves you. Come as you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come as you are. So you're like, wow, this guy really, really loves me. Wow. Yeah. Wonderful, unconditional love. So you're like, okay, you go to the front, you say a prayer, and then they take you to the back, or wherever they take you. They take your name, they do all that stuff to get you in the system, and then they, after you start going regularly or whatever, they're like, you know what, bro? Uh, now that you're in the system, you know what? That tattoo, bro, you got, you got to cover it up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're representing Jesus. Those earrings that you got, bro, they're not really, you know what I'm saying? Those movies that you watch, I know you like Sylvester Stallone and you like Rambo. You can't be watching those violent stuff anymore, bro. <laughs> you know when That music, that hip-hop that you like, ah, oh, no, bro, you can't listen to that. You better listen to Lecrae only, bro. Don't be listening to KG. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, now, nah, oh, the way you, oh, in the way you dress, those baggy pants, and those, those short skirts, oh girl, you can't be wearing those short skirts. Oh no, 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 you don't want to tempt people. You know, the way the whole, your whole style is messed up, you're a daughter of God. So they tell you all this stuff. You gotta change the way you look, you gotta change the way you act, you gotta change the music that you like. Everything that about you has to change because now you're in the kingdom. I'm like, damn, I thought God loved me unconditionally. What happened? Now his love became all conditional. Conditional to my performance, conditional to if me changing. So what happens in the sub I'm gonna take it to a scientific level. What happens to in the subconscious of people when you tell them all this stuff about you have to change? People don't take it as okay, the music that I listen to is not good. No, they take it as God doesn't like me. It's not like God doesn't like the music that you listen to. No, you like that music and God doesn't like it. So then you think there's something wrong with you. Oh, there's something that God doesn't like. God doesn't like me. God might love me, but He sure doesn't like me because I have to change. I have to change now. I'm gonna renew my mind and change. So, like, if you don't think that God likes you, you cannot receive and believe God's love for you. It's impossible. Liking and loving go together. You cannot. People say, "Oh, you can love everybody, but you can like everybody." You don't have to like everybody. But you can love. That's a, that, 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 that's that's messed up. Like, you love and you like people. You begin to see them like God sees them, and you like people. If you don't, if you say, "Oh, I love everybody, but I don't like everybody," but you, you, I don't know what you, what type of love you're talking about. Then, love likes. So God likes you, and God's not trying to change you. I mean, that's like, like this is relationship one on one. This is like first step, like to really have an awesome relationship with God, knowing that God likes you. That God's not trying to change your style. He's not trying to change the way you talk. He's not trying to change the way you dress. He's not trying to change your likes and your dislikes. People say, God gives you the desires of your heart. But what God does is that he changes your heart and then he gives you the desires of your heart. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. That dude likes you. He likes your style. He likes the way you are.